God, you are strong, and I'm safe in your arms. Make me brave all day long. I count on you, I count on you. God, you are strong, and I'm safe in your arms. Make me brave all day long. I count on you, I count on you. You're the one true God Two I belong to you Three I believe One, two, three You are strong for me One You're the one true God Two I belong to you Three I believe One, two, three You are strong for me God, you are strong and I'm safe in your arms Make me brave all day long I count on you, I count on you God, you are strong And I'm safe in your arms Make me brave all day long I count on you, I count on you One. You're the one true God Two. I belong to you Three I believe One, two, three You are strong for me One You're the one true God Two I belong to you Three I believe One, two, three You are strong for me God, you are strong And I'm safe in your arms Make me brave all day long I count on you, I count on you God, you are strong And I'm safe in your arms Make me brave all day long I count on you, I count on you I count on you, I count on you, God Boys and girls, my name is Brad, and today we get to go on an exciting adventure together to learn about God through a man in the Bible named Daniel. Daniel is going to show us some really cool things about God, and I'm glad you are all here with me to learn today. I love learning more about who God is, don't you? Yeah! Oh, good! Here there are all sorts of treasures that are hidden in the sand for us to find. I wonder if the treasures we find will help us learn our Bible story. Hmm, well, let's find out. I have this handy dandy tool called a metal detector. This tool will help us find treasures way below the sand. You wanna see how it works? Yes! <laughs> All ready. I just wave it over the sand and when my special tool finds the treasure, it will beep. When you hear a beep, I need you all to say, Yippee Skippy! What could it be? Let's try it together. One, two, three! Yippee, Yippee Skippy! Skippy. What, what could it be? Great job! <laughs> okay, here we go. Get really quiet so you can hear the beep! Hmm. Yippee, skippy, what, what could, could it be? be? Oh, wow! This is so cool! Huh. Look at all the little doors! I wonder how we could get inside of them. Do you know how we could get inside these doors? Oh, I think I heard someone say keys! I think you're right! I wonder if there are any keys Hitting around here. Hmm. <laughs> Let's get ready to search by clicking on our listening ears. Click, click. Now, put on your special treasure hunting eyes. Zoop, zoop. <laughs> wow! Now, we are ready. Let's see what we can find. Hey, while I do this, 
you all hold up your pretend metal detectors. Like this. <laughs> Great. Now, ready? Let's go search. Here we go. your metal detectors down and put them in your laps. Huh. I wonder what this key would go to. I think we need to match the color of the key with the door. <laughs> Let's give it a try. Oh, wow. Hi there, friend. I'm Gober. I'm so glad you found the first key so I can share with you something really special. Do you know who God is? I'm sure you've probably heard of God before, but I want to share some really cool things about my friend God. The first thing I want to tell you is that God is so full of power, like more power than anyone in the whole wide world. Everyone, show me your muscles. Oh, wow. Those are some strong muscles for sure. But when I say God is powerful, I'm not really talking about God's muscles. He is strong for sure. But the power God has that makes him so special is the power to do anything he wants. He can actually do anything because he is in charge of everything. If God wanted to make me fly, he could because he is in charge. If God wanted to make it snow, he could because he is in charge. If God wanted everyone to be kind to one another, he could do that too because he is in charge. And if God wanted to share everything he is in charge of with you and me, he could because he is in charge. And guess what, friends? God does share his control with us. He lets us choose if we are going to be kind to our friends and family. He lets us choose to get to know him and choose to be his friend. Isn't that so powerful of God to let us make our own choices? It makes me want to learn more about God so we can be friends. Do you want to hear a story from the Bible where Daniel shows us what can happen when we know God is in charge? Yes! Oh, yay! Y'all go find the second key, and I'll see you there to tell you about a man in the Bible named Daniel. See you soon! <laughs> wow, friends! This is one amazing machine! I love that God is so powerful. He even chooses to share some of his power with you and me. Gober said we can find out more about God inside the next door. Should we look for another key? Yeah. <laughs> Super duper. Here we go. Go ahead and pick up your pretend metal detectors and let's see what we can find. Hmm. Yippee, 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 yippee. What, could what could it be? Hmm. You know, I have something that could help us dig this up. It's a special tool. I'll be right back. Oh, hey, while I go get something for my car, can you all drum on the ground like this until I get back? <laughs> Look, friends. I have the shovel that I found earlier, and I'm pretty sure this is going to be very helpful. Now, let's see what we found. Oh, oh look. Oh, yuck. We don't want that. Go ahead and pick up your pretend metal detectors again, and let's see what we can find. Hmm. Huh. 
Huh. Oh boy! I wonder if this is the key that will help us open the door. Should we try it? Yeah! <laughs> Super duper! Go ahead and put your metal detectors back in your lap and let's see if it works. Huh. Friends, you found the second key. Great job. Let's look at a story in the Bible that shows us how God is always in charge. This is a story about a man named Daniel. Daniel and his three friends were taken by a really mean king. This made Daniel and his friends very sad and probably very scared. But Daniel remembered that God is always in charge, so Daniel knew he could trust God. Daniel loved God and talked to Him every day. In fact, Daniel prayed to God three different times a day. Daniel and God became best friends. Daniel didn't know what was going to happen to him and his friends, hmm. but he knew God was in charge. We can know that too. Say it with me in your strongest voice. God is in charge. God, God is, is in charge. charge. There's a special verse I want to share with you. But first, you all need to go find one more key and I'll meet you behind the next door. See you soon. Hi again, friends. I love that Daniel knew God so well that even when he was scared and didn't know what was going to happen, he trusted that God was in charge. Gober told us to look for another key. Do you want to help me? Yeah. Great. Here we go. Go ahead and pick up your pretend metal detectors like this. And let's see what we can find. Hmm. Yippee, Yippee, Skippy, Skippy. Skippy. What, what could it be? Let's dig it up, friends. Oh boy, it's another key. Go ahead and put your pretend metal detectors down back in your lap. And let's see if this key works. Hmm. You all found the third key. You are so smart. There's a special verse from the Bible that I want us to practice to help us remember what we learned about God today. Everyone stand up and repeat after me. May God be praised. May God be praised. Forever and ever. Forever and ever. He is wise. He is wise. And powerful. And powerful. Daniel 2.20. Daniel 2.20. That's it. Great job, friends. Hey, will you come back next week so I can tell you some more of Daniel's story and teach you something else that's really cool about God? Yeah! Oh, yay! See you next week, then. Bye. Wow, friends, we sure did have a big adventure today. And now I know that God is in charge. I want to thank God for being in charge. Let's do that now by praying. Go ahead and close your eyes and fold your hands and put them in your lap. Let's pray. Hey, God, thank you for showing us that you are always in charge. Help us remember that you can do anything Sometimes we might forget that you are in charge. And when we forget, will you forgive us? You will? <laughs> I know you will, because you tell us that in the Bible. 
Oh, thank you, God. We love you very much. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. There is always more to learn about God. Will you come back next week for another big adventure? Yeah! Great! I can't wait to learn more about God and find out what happens next to Daniel and his friends. <laughs> See you later! Bye! <laughs>